Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. My name is Bill Gens. I'm the CEO of Top Solid USA. I've spent the last 25 years of my career focusing on integration in the CAD CAM market. People quite often ask me, what's the real value behind an integrated CAD CAM solution? Or as I like to refer to it as a manufacturing solution. So I thought I would take that question and do my best to give you a presentation. So in this sample, and you're seeing some of the simulation right now of the first test of this sample, we're going to take a look at what it takes to machine a family of parts with a product like Top Solid. Half the battle is first figuring out your manufacturing process, and that's what I'm showing you right here. We've gone through and we've programmed all the features of this part on this twin turret, twin spindle machining center. Every type of imaginable operation we're doing on here. And we're going through the simulation, we're checking our work, we're making sure that our manufacturing process is in fact sound. And you can see we're checking every little step of the process. Now, I'm not going to take time in this presentation to show you step by step how to program this part. We've done that lots of times in the past. Instead, I'm going to show you more on the back end how to process repetitive parts, such as a family in this case. By using an integrated solution, such as Top Solid, you have best class CAD tied together with best in class CAM to provide you with a turnkey manufacturing solution that will overall minimize your engineering time and your manufacturing time. In just a few seconds, we're going to dig into what it takes to create a family of manufactured parts. In order to manufacture a family of parts using a product like Top Solid, first you have to understand the structure of how families work. So, we just finished looking at a simulation of the first manufactured part on here, but I'm going to close that and we're going to take a closer look at how the structure was set up. So, my project tree here, and again for those of you unfamiliar with Top Solid, uh, we are a PDM based solution, so we're fully version tracking, uh, we know who did it and when, all that kind of fun stuff. So, I started by designing up my part. Okay? So if I take a look at my part and we go into our history tree, we can kind of pop through here real quick. And I'm just going to step through, did a revolution, a threading, uh, created a pocket. I should probably flip this over so you can see it. Uh, added some fillets, some drilling, some chamfers, repeated it, trimmed by profile, added another drilling, repeated that, uh, then created a couple of different parameters. Okay, And the parameters were there to drive the geometry for my family. So for example, if I show the driving sketch here of the revolved part, you can see that some of my dimensions have parameter names in them. Okay? And the whole idea here is that these parameter names will be driven by an Excel-like table. Now, if I go into my Excel document, and yep, that Excel document is embedded inside of our project, which is great, you can see the, the code I'm calling everything, and then the basic parameters for each of these versions. And I kept this simple, obviously it's a demonstration, I wanted to just have a handful of parameters that change on this family of parts. And then finally from there, we created what's called a family document, and the family document lets you then create all of the brothers and sisters, if you will, of the family. You can even check them down here, one at a time, you can right click and say view instance, and it'll update it to that new version. Once that's all said and done, you check everything in, and every family member has been made. So now, how does a design family integrate into a machining or a manufacturing product? Well, let's have a look. 
So in my manufacturing prep folder here, this is where I created the first version of machining, but to do that, I started by creating an assembly. This assembly contains a part and the stock blank or the puck that I'm going to machine this part out of in this sample. If I go to my entities tree and go to my parameters, you can see here I have a, a parameter called part to manufacture, and this is referencing my family. And so I can just choose which part I want to manufacture, and everything updates. Okay, let's close that up. From there, once I created that assembly, I created a machine part setup document where I told Top Solid with what the part to machine is and what the stock condition is. And then finally, as you saw in the first simulation, I created all the manufacturing needed to make this part. So these three simple files. The result is something fantastic. For example, if I look in my machining folder here, you can see I have a handful of the family members already done. It's kind of cool. What I want to do now is I want to make the next version with you. So what I'm going to do is just take this, copy, paste. And it's going to make a copy of everything. Okay, and what I mean by everything, it's going to be that initial assembly, the initial machine part setup document, and the initial machining. So now I have the copy. I'm going to go into my assemblies. I'm going to go back to my parameters, part to manufacture. And it looks like we left off at the three and a quarter by five eighths by one and a quarter. So let's look there. So the next should be the three and a half by three eighths. Okay, so let's do that one. Perfect. I'm just going to update this to have the right name. And how you name this is up to you, really. But I'm just keeping the same family names here. So that's it. That design is updated to that version. I'm going to go to my MPS file, which needs to be regenerated. That's what that means. And now, I'm going to open it. I'm going to hit Control R to rebuild it. It's now updated to the new version. I'm going to go to my machining. Same thing. Open it. And you'll notice that the file names are even updating to the part that we're running. All of my toolpath is dirty. I'm just going to regenerate. And right now, the software is taking my manufacturing process for this family and applying it automatically to that family member. And you can see I'm updated in real time here. It's not taking an hour to calculate. It's taking a few seconds, maybe a minute. We'll see. But at the end of the day, you're not starting over. You're not reprogramming from scratch. You're not doing any type of crazy extra engineering that could potentially manufacture the wrong part. Instead, you're using technology the way technology should be used to automate and control your manufacturing process. And that's it. We're done. So what does this all mean? Integration. Machining a family of parts. How does that all tie together to something that you can really wrap your head around? Well, let's see if this helps. Let's take just a generic look at the results of the first part. And here's here's all I'm doing. I'm keeping this real simple so that everybody can wrap their head around what I'm trying to share with you. So total engineering time. The engineering time I put is two hours. That's how much time it took me to design the part, parameterize it, and create the family members. Manufacturing prep time it was about an hour. That included the machine part setup document, picking the machine, loading tooling on the machine, all that kind of fun stuff. Programming time to create the programs, debug the programs was about four hours. Total, I spent about seven hours in top solid on that. If we take a shop rate, 
company rate of $150 an hour, we have a rough cost of $1,050 with me so far. Now, let's take a look at the cost to manufacture the family member. And here we're looking at using no integration. So let's say you used product X. I'm not going to pick on any of the other cam softwares. That's not the point of this. But let's say you're using product X. So you're going to have to do some level of engineering because you have to go find the other part. You have to draw the other part. You have to do whatever. Okay. Because you don't have an integrated solution. So I'm going to put an hour down for that. Maybe the manufacturing preparation time is faster because you can reuse some of the stuff you did. So we'll put a half an hour for that. Programming time will still be faster because, again, you've done it now and now it's just applying your process or whatever to the parts. So I'm going to say it's three hours. Again, to write, debug, prove out, all that kind of fun stuff. So you have four and a half hours. Again, same rate of 150 an hour, $675 to machine a family member. There were 13 more family members to make of this specific family. So the total cost is a little under $9,000 at 8775 Again, this is talking about using a non-integrated CAD CAM solution. Let's look at the cost to machine the family members using top solid integrated CAD CAM. Engineering time for each additional family member is zero. Manufacturing preparation time is zero. Programming time, and here I'm being generous, you saw in the video, I put roughly five minutes or 0.08 hours. So the total time spent is five minutes per family member, which is the equivalent of about $12. Again, 13 members costs you $156 to produce all those parts, or at least to program them anyway. So what does this actually mean? Let's do a cost comparison. Again, on the left, you have no integration. On the right, you have top solid integration. You have a total of 8,775, and here I'm just showing the family member reproduction, not that first off part, against $156. I was going to put the percentage of savings on here for you, but I think everyone understands the point. When you work with a real integrated solution like Top Solid, you have the ability to really streamline your manufacturing process. Not only streamline it, but make it reproducible, make it usable make it efficient. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.